Hi, my name is Jen and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I have a special guest, Chef Weddle in the house. Hey guys. And today he's going to be making some paste chicken. Yummy! So stay tuned. Hey guys, we're going to be making some paste chicken. Really simple. If you're running out of time, you're just a late weeknight, you need something quick to make, something very, very simple that you just throw on an hour and a half later it's ready and this is it right here so we got some chicken I use four chicken breasts boneless skinless chicken breasts and then you got this paste picante sauce that has everything you need so that's everything you're gonna need clean up your chicken and all you need to do is put your chicken we're gonna be using today our uh, pressure cooker about at high for an hour and a half, dump the paste picante on it, submerge it at least an inch above, that way it's uh, marinating and simmering in it. I'm gonna be using most of the thing here. This is about, wow, 64 ounces. Yummy! It's not so So we're going to put the top on, make sure the vent's closed, and turn on, push it cook. An hour and 20, that should get pressurized. After the an hour and 20 minutes are done, you vent it, let the steam come out, open it, you're going to shred, you're going to shred the chicken using tongs. Once you shred it, I throw it back in there, let it sit there for about 20 minutes. So total, let's say two hours, you got this chicken, it'll be ready. If you have time and you don't have one of these pressure cookers, almost everybody has a crock pot, a slow cooker. You can do the same thing in there, put the chicken breast, put the sauce over it, leave this on low for eight hours. At the seventh hour, I like to shred the chicken and then just let it simmer with it. That way it's nice and juicy and tender when it's finished. So while we wait the hour and a half, there's different ways that we like to eat this food. The paste chicken, either we can make some nachos, which I've got my favorite tortilla chips right Either you can make some pico de gallo, some salsa, some cheese, chicken, or you can make quesadillas with it, nice. And then you can make some white rice and then put your chicken over it, and that's really good also. So meanwhile, I'm gonna make some white rice, I'm gonna make some salsa for it, and wait for the food to finish. So it's been an hour and 20 minutes. Time to take the pressure out so we can shred the chicken and then we're gonna put it back in there for about another 10, 15 minutes. Let it soak up the liquid and then it will be ready. While Chef Weddle's over there, I'm gonna film what he's drinking. He is having a Corona beer this video is not sponsored by anyone and these tortillas chips are delish let me show you i couldn't wait so i had to try the salsa he added some avocado are these avocados from mexico some avocados some onions some ancho, salt and pepper yummy okay guys i'm gonna try the salsa Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I love the chips. Okay, this salsa is one of my DIY salsas from my other YouTube video. If you want to watch it, uh, yeah, just go to my other video on how to make salsa verde. Let me show you what else is over here. So we have the salsa. We have some onions, some cebollitas. We also have a cilantro. Cilantro, yummy. So somebody mentioned like, where did we get these? These little containers, they're so amazing, so helpful. They were only a dollar. They're from the Dollar Tree. I got, I think I got three of them, four. Yeah, they come in handy for for get-togethers or just everyday use. I use them for a lot of things. One time I even made myself or gave myself a manicure in them. Hee 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 hee. 
Look at him shaking his head. Okay, so now the pressure has been taken out. You gotta be very careful when you're doing this because the pressure, the vapor is really, really hot. So what I like to do is I just put the towel over, especially so we don't get the cabinets dirty. The steam comes out. That one took about five minutes. It was a lot. So once all the pressure is out, then you're able to take it out. It has a lever right here for it, but I already took it out. So you see it's still, little, still simmering a little bit, as you can see. So now I get the tongs and I start shredding them. That's how you shred the chicken? You hear that? Ooh, look at that. Let's see. It's just falling wow. apart. Wow. Falling apart. And that was how many pieces of chicken? Uh, four chicken breasts. Four chicken breast. Yummy. This is what we're going to have for dinner. And it's also a good idea for meal prepping. Look at that. Chef Weddle in the mix. Two hands. Two tongs. <laughs> you got two chains on too. <laughs> that is some skillful... Yes, you need to do that. Like if you're a chef, you need to have plenty of thongs. Like you have to have a lot of utensils. utensils. Yeah, not just thongas. Thongs. Yeah. You need to have everything that a, a, a chef needs. And check out Chef Weddle's jacket. He's badass chef. Ooh, he's the badass chef. Look at that. Love it. Okay, let's check out Chef Weddle's jacket from the front. Let's see. Look at that. Chef Weddle in the house. Let me see your pockets on the side. Pockets. Ooh. Yeah. Flames. Right on. Okay, so after you shred it, this the Instapot usually just stays on a uh, keep warm. I shred it, let it sit in there for about 10 minutes. Just let it soak up. The rest of the juice is going to get, and then it's ready to plate. So these are two ways on how you can eat this delicious meal. We have our nachos right there, and then we have the chicken paste with some white rice, served over right white rice. Well, now let's try out the final product in the dish. Mm. So that's just white rice with the chicken. That's really good. Mm. Yummy. And then the nachos are for me. But okay. go ahead, try them out. Try them out for you. Yeah. And he added some cilantro and onions. Really good. Yay! Thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Thank you.